हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर्षल दाबने एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू कंडक्ट ए लेक्चर ऑन मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी व्हिच इज अ कंसेप्ट इंक्लूडेड इन इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी सो दिस इज व्हाट्स ए मॉलिकुलर मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी सो before starting this molecular orbital theory we come across some important concepts regarding uh, yeah inorganic chemistry so first we look towards that concept okay we clear we suppose we have some doubts in that concept so we will going to clear it okay and then we move towards the molecular orbital theory so see first we talk about the types of bonds it is very simple concept already you all know about that but we just have to rememberize that okay so the first thing is nothing but said to be the ionic bond second second is a covalent bond covalent bond then third is a coordinate bond coordinate bond and then fourth one last one is nothing but metallic bond metallic bond so friends uh, uh, we have this type of bonds okay we learn in chemistry so just we discuss one by one so the first we try to discuss or try to explain ionic bond so see here suppose if we consider an example of a cl molecule okay so this is what a cl molecule here this hydrogen is a Uh, we can uh, say write down what say here positive charge and cl is nothing but said to be the negative charge so here one concept is a uh, more important that concept is called as the electronegativity so in case of the ionic bond what happens suppose if we consider the electronegativity of both element so here the cl is more electronegative as compared to the hydrogen atom so what happens suppose this is nothing but said to be the hydrogen it is what h1 h11 okay so the hydrogen will going to lost one electron okay and it will be converted into what say the h positive so this is nothing but said to be the h part is that is what proton okay and this is nothing but said to be the electrons so what happen we have two types of elements in a periodic table actually we have three types of okay so the first type of element is nothing but said to be the electro positive electro positive is there second type of element is nothing but said to be the electro negative and third one is nothing but the moderate in between these two okay so here is cl is a more electro negative hydrogen is nothing but said to be the less electro negative so what the hydrogen is what electro positive and the cl is nothing but the electro negative so this hydrogen will get lost one electron okay and it will be converted into the h positive okay that is nothing but the positive spaces especially when we talk about what say the cl so cl is nothing but said to be this one cl okay so what happen cl is nothing but said to be the more electronegative that's why what happen the cl will going to gain this electron so the cl will going to gain this electron and it will be converted into what say the cl negative so this is nothing but said to what say we got h positive and cl negative and finally what happens so the h positive it is positive species and the cl negative it is nothing but the negative species when they will going to combine so we got what say the scl molecule so when we talk about the ionic bond so ionic bond is not a bond it is just an interaction in between what say the oppositely charged uh, you can say that the species here is nothing but the hydrogen that is what say you can say that the proton h positive why it is called as proton because the hydrogen actually so when we talk about the hydrogen so hydrogen is 1 1 why 1 1 because hydrogen is nothing but said to be the those elements present in periodic tables which having one electron and one proton in their you can say that uh, uh, nucleus as well as the peripheral part okay they don't have neutron okay and when we eject one electron so they only contain what say the proton so that's why h positive is uh, sometimes or you can say that the always they will be called as what say the proton so this is what said to be h positive that is proton okay and this is what is cl negative so what happen a positive and negative they will going to attract it that that will be called as the ionic or you can say that the electrostatic force of attraction or sometimes it is called as the coulombic force so due to the coulombic force that h positive and cl negative they will going to combine okay and we got what say the scl molecule so this is nothing but the ionic bond so remember friends 
आयनिक इज नॉट ए बॉन्ड आयनिक इज नॉट जस्ट हैव से द इंट्रैक्शन इन बिटवीन द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव स्पेसेस बेस्ट एग्जांपल इज नथिंग बट द एस सी एल ओके एंड इन विच स्पेसिस द आयनिक बॉन्ड विल गोइंग टू फॉर्म सो दो स्पेसिस विच हैविंग वॉट्स द ग्रेटर इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव डिफरेंस वो मे से बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज नथिंग बट सेट टू विद एस सी एल हियर हाइड्रोजन इज लेस इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव ओके और इवन सो दैट इट इज इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव ओके एंड दिस वन इज बट द इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव सो देर इज अ ग्रेटर इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव डिफरेंस सो इन दिस मॉलिक्यूल वी ऑब्जर्व वॉट्स इज द आयनिक बॉन्ड एंड दैट बॉन्ड कैन बी फॉर्म बाय द कंप्लीट ट्रांसफर यू कैन से दैट हियर हाइड्रोजन मीन्स वॉट्स इज द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन इज टोटली ट्रांसपोर्ट ओवर वॉट्स इज द सी एल सो हियर इन केस ऑफ द आयनिक बॉन्ड देर इज अ कंप्लीट ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टेक प्लेस एंड फाइनली वॉट वी गॉट वी गॉट वॉट्स इज द से द मॉलिक्यूल इन विच द इलेक्ट्रो स्टैटिक फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन विल बी प्रेजेंट ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट वॉट से द आयनिक बॉन्ड नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट से द कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड सो फ्रेंड्स कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड सो इट इज यू कैन से दैट इट इज इनवर्स प्रोसेस दैट ऑफ वॉट से द आयनिक बॉन्ड हाउ सो सपोज इफ वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट से द सी एल टू मॉलिक्यूल सो दिस दिस नथिंग बट सेट टू बी द सी एल टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सी एल टू सो हाउ टू राइट डाउन दिस सी एल टू दिस इज वॉट सी एल एंड दिस इज सिंगल बॉन्ड सी एल सो दिज आर नथिंग बट सेट टू बी द सी एल टू मॉलिक्यूल सो विल वी टॉक अबाउट द कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड सो सी इन केस ऑफ से द इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वी मोस्टली कम अक्रॉस वॉट्स इज द आयोनिक बॉन्ड देन वॉट्स इज द कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड एंड समटाइम्स वॉट्स इज द मेटेलिक बॉन्ड बट इन केस ऑफ वॉट्स इज द ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वी ऑलवेज से द लिंक विथ और ओके और वर्क विथ वॉट्स इज द कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड बिकॉज इन ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल मोस्ट ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल देर इज अ लेस इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिविटी डिफरेंस सो इन बिटवीन देम द कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड विल बी प्रेजेंट ओके नाउ वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दैट कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड विल गोइंग टू फॉर्म सो दिस इज वी कंसिडर वॉट दिस एग्जाम्पल दैट इज वॉट सी एल टू ओके एंड वी विल गोइंग टू राइट डाउन दिस लाइक दिस दिस इज वॉट सी सी एल टू ओके सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट सी सपोज वीन वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज सी एल सो हियर इट इज वॉट सी होमो न्यूक्लियर मॉलिक्यूल मीन्स वॉट बोथ इलिमेंट्स आर सेम ओके ओके एंड देन से देर इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिविटी आज आर सेम सो मीन्स बोथ ऐटम्स आर सेम सो ऑल्सो देर इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिविटीज आर सेम सो वॉट एपन हियर से दिस सी एल विल गोइंग टू से हैविंग अ कॉन्फिगेशन सपोज इफ वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट्स इज द कॉन्फिगेशन ऑफ द सी एल सो दिस इज वॉट सी एल हैविंग वॉट सेवनटीन ओके एंड देर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी प्रेजेंट इन देर यू कैन से दैट देर पी ओ ऑर्बिटल सो दे हैविंग वॉट्स इज द अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन वी विल नॉट गोइंग टू से राइट डाउन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन आई जस्ट टेल यू वॉट द सी एल इज हैविंग वॉट वन अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके अनादर सी एल विल हैविंग वॉट से दू कैन से दैट द वन अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके सो वॉट एपन Uh, CL, each CL is having what say the one unpaired electron. Okay, that's why they are somewhat unstable. Okay, I am saying that they are somewhat unstable. Okay, so what happen? Do a choose stability. This CL will going to what combine? Miss what? They will going to share this electron pair, this one and that one. So this is nothing but said with Cl two molecule, and here one electron shared by this Cl, another electron will be shared by this Cl, and this is nothing but said with the bonding pair, which is exactly present in between what, in between the, this Cl molecule, Cl two molecule. So this is nothing but said with the bonding pair, okay, which is exactly present at what is the center, means the distance uh, from say this lone pair to this particular Cl, uh, say elements are same. So this is nothing but said with the covalent bond. So actually, uh, what we learn in this covalent bond, so the covalent bond can be formed in between the same electro negativity element. Okay. The example is what Cl two, Cl two. Okay. And then next thing, there is a sharing of electron. Okay. See here, this is what one Cl, another Cl. Okay. Each having what one unpaired electron. Okay. And what we do? So this electron pair. Okay, these electrons they will going to pair, and okay, and he here we got this pair, and this is nothing but said to be the sigma bond in between what these two Cl. So this is nothing but said to be the covalent bond. Now we will just quick uh, say distinguish in between what say the ionic and covalent bond. So in case of the ionic bond, first thing ionic bond form in between what say the two elements which having uh, one is electro positive, another is electro negative. Means there is electro negative difference. Okay, the next thing. 
the uh, electron is completely transferred from what electro positive to electro negative okay the next next is that ionic bond is not a bond it's just an interaction in between the positive and negative spaces the here is nothing but the example scl okay this is all about what say the ionic bond i will tell you the three points okay then in about what say the covalent bond covalent bond can be formed in between what the two same electro negativity elements or nearly same see what i'm going to say two same electro negative or nearly same nearly same so the bond in between these elements is nothing but said to be the covalent bond second thing say the electron or say the bond is formed due to the sharing of electrons see here this is nothing but said to be the sharing so this is two electrons will going to share okay so this sharing of electron so this is what say the covalent bond the next is nothing but said to be <coughs> the covalent bond is bond okay it is not just a interaction because the bond is formed due to the sharing okay so ionic bond is it just an interaction but covalent bond is nothing but said to be the bond okay it is exist okay it is bond so this is all about what say the ionic and covalent bond we just move towards what say the coordinate bond so what do you mean by the coordinate bond sometimes it is called as see what this one coordinate bond sometimes we called this it is nothing but the coordinate covalent bond or the covalent coordinate bond so why we call this we just have to say explain so see here i will write down this so we have say the best example is nothing but said to be suppose this is what say the nh3 okay and we know that the nitrogen is having the lone pair and plus suppose if we reacted this nh3 with what is the scl so this is nothing but the simply acid base reaction is there okay so what happened so nitrogen is nothing but said to be the lewis base okay lewis base so what do you mean by the lewis base lewis base is nothing but what those bases able to donate the lone pair that will be called as the lewis base okay means what the nitrogen is having the lone pair lone pair is available for donation so this lone pair will attack over what say the h h if high because of the h positive this one is what a cl negative so the lone pair will going to attack over what the h positive and the bond form in between them is nothing but like this so this is what h3 this is what the n okay we will going to write down like this and this is what the hydrogen like this so here the nitrogen will bearing what say the positive charge why positive charge because this is nothing but said to be the bond okay this is nothing but the bond it is called as the coordinate bond coordinate bond coordinate covalent bond so why it is called as the coordinate covalent bond i will going to explain it see this is lone pair it will attack or what say the h because h is nothing but the deficient this is nothing but the rich electron rich those having the electron it is nothing but the electron rich okay lone pair will going to attack or what say the h positive and the bond form in between the nitrogen and the hydrogen see the lone pair will going to use in bond formation that's why the nitrogen be bearing what say the positive charge and that's why this bond can be shown so see the arrow of this bond is towards what the hydrogen from nitrogen me it means that the electron is flowing from what nitrogen to the hydrogen nitrogen to the hydrogen so that that bond is uh, called as what say the coordinate bond why because it is an coordinate bond okay it is an coordinate bond how coordinate bond because both electrons can be shared by nitrogen atom but it is also called as the coordinate why because the both electrons are say uh, shared by both uh, you can say that the both element that is what say the hydrogen and nitrogen so when we suppose uh, differentiate or compare this coordinate bond with the covalent bond so in case of the covalent bond both electrons are uh, say coming from both species that is what the both cl atoms okay one from this one from this but here both electrons are say coming from what say the nitrogen so that's why it is nothing but the coordinate bond we are going to coordinate it nitrogen will going to coordinate hydrogen but this two electrons are say equally distributed one electron uh, say towards what the nitrogen another will towards what say the hydrogen so that's why you can see that what this is nothing but the uh, yeah coordinate bond so what is coordinate coordinate bond is nothing but say it is a covalent bond okay it is a covalent bond but both electrons can be shared by one element okay rather than what say the two elements so in case of the covalent bond we will going to say the covalent bond this example so here both electrons shared by both element okay here both electrons shared by one element that is what the nitrogen this is nothing but the major difference in between what say the coordinate bond and covalent bond now finally so we will talk about what say the metallic bond so in case of the metallic bond what happen so metals are see these metals so metals are always always uh, you can say that what electro positive 
they are electropositive metals are always electropositive they will going to lose electron okay means what we got we got what oxidation reaction that is what m here what electron plus here is the m and here what plus that is what oxidation reaction they will going to lose electron and what happen when suppose suppose if we consider this so many metal ions they will going to lose so many electrons okay so the electrons is negatively charged and obviously this is what say the electron it is negatively charged metal is what is a positively charged so what happen there is a interaction in between them and due to the interaction of this electrons with what more than one metal ion so they will going to form a cage okay cage and in which say the electron will going to move so that bond is nothing but said to be the metallic bond so see what metallic bond is a versatile we don't have much work with what say the metallic bond so that's why you must have to uh, understand what these three that is what say the ionic okay it will be work in the inorganic chemistry mostly then what the covalent bond it will work mostly work in what say the organic chemistry okay and then what the coordinate bond that will really work in what say the uh, you can say that the yeah in inorganic chemistry in uh, cft uh, as well okay so this is all about what uh, say the types of bond okay so friends we in, in next lecture we try to discuss about what why theories are proposed in inorganic chemistry and what is the relation in between the types of bond and the theories okay thank you